everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to present some topics I like as well as recommend some corresponding new tools to all of you in this video. Okay, you know we learned to create our own Google Sites to upload our assignment, presentation, activity, journal, and of course our um, final project video. And we share with specific person like Julia Forhart and we can share the links to everyone so they could get us to your website and check our uh, e-portfolio and uh, which is so convenient and private for students to arrange their works as a teacher if you want to check all your students assignments on one page smartly rather than checking one by one as a student if you want to look through all the files of classmates rather than getting the permission to check in the website if you have this condition i strongly recommend another alternative named palette Palette is the best online notice board used by teachers and students to post notes on the common page. And the contents of the post could involve text, videos, audio, links, files, and so on. Now we're in the Palette dashboard, and you see I just log in my Google account and then click Make a Palette. And you see the eight options for you to choose. Just the arrangements of the post are a little bit different, and you can just check from the images and descriptions of here. Now, let's start with the first one, wall palette. Wall is like all the posts, no matter longer or shorter, are pieced together like bricks with any spaces between them. Click select and then it's going to automatically make a background, title and description. But you can just edit them in the setting. As teacher, I want my students to upload the midterm presentation on this board. So I'm just going to title it. Yes, week 8, 9, midterm, and then give them a description like choose topic like in touch with any pictures, videos, or files, etc. Then you can just choose an icon like for me, I want to choose an icon relevant to study, so I just choose this one. Go back. Then you can change the wallpaper. For me, you can have for options to choose, or you can just add your own wallpaper. This one is okay. And then for the color scheme, choose a lighter one and just keep the font as original for the time's sake. For the posting setting, you can choose whether to display student's name above each post or not. For me, this is about assignment, so I choose yes. And you can just decide where to put the new post first or last. I choose first. And you can allow students to comment on other students' posts. Yes. For the reactions, you can allow students to like posts or vote on them or start or agree. Like. For the content featuring, you can just allow um, whether to approve students or you can just replace bad words with nice emojis. Yes. Okay. If you're done with that, just click on next. Then click on start posting. Okay. Now students can click the plus button down in the bottom corner to make posts. As teacher, can just ask them to put the name title like T Lei, and the description is the topic you want to present like near port. Okay. Apparently it's text box, but you can just click the arrow icon or three dots to see. There are lots of options for you to choose like file, link, images, videos from Google, photo, video, audio, or doodle. Now I click upload, then click pick file. It takes a few seconds to upload it. So, because I've uploaded this file before, so I just click this directly. Okay, now I posted our group presentation on this board. As teacher, you can just click the PowerPoint to check our assignment like this. Or you can just download it by clicking this. Okay, you can check it. Now let's go back. As student, you can just edit this post if you want to change that. Just click the button in the upper corner. Then you can change the color like this. Or you can just click edit post to change anything you want to change. Or you can just delete post um, and create a new one. I try to make a sample of midterm presentation of a classmates. And you know, I didn't get the permission to download files or even get access to your links. So I just take some screenshots of your presentations. Okay, 
As teacher, I can just check the contents of the presentations or another assignments easily. As a student, I can just look through and learn from you by downloading or something like that. Um, so, um, both teachers and students can just give them a like or add some comment down below. The next one I love to use is the grey palette. I create a sample of weekly journal beta from my journals and you can see all the rows um, arranged in rows and the second row starts and the longest row in the first row so there's so many spaces between them but um, it looks clean and neat for teachers to track all of students' assignments at a time. Um, you can also give them a like or add some comment down below, attach some um, picture or document like this. We use Padlet not only to assign homework, but also to initiate a real-time brainstorming class. You know, we usually have group work to discuss some questions in class and then present by our group members. At the time, you can just use Padlet to post your ideas as well as check the answers from the other students, like the shelf, uh, the format of shelf. Okay, a great example of our group work in week 12 about ethical issues of ICD education. And you see, I named the column with the question for each group from group 1 to group 5 and then the students can just need to discuss the question and at the same time they can post their ideas underneath the column by clicking the plus button like this and you can also touch the picture or something like that and other students can just give you a thumbs up or add some comment like this I know what you care most is if Padlet is free for users. Of course, you can use the free version or pay monthly fees, almost $6. But for me, free version is enough. And the difference is free version leaves you to three Padlets at a time, which means if you want to create a new one, you just need to delete the Padlet when you're done with it. Okay, the next topic I want to talk about is bibliographic tool. In my view, EndNote we use in class is sophisticated, but it could not be compatible with my laptop. So I just recommend a free site for reference and citation to all of you named Cites for me. So I'd like to make a tutorial to let you see how to insert citation or reference into your article. Okay, now I've already created a Google Doc and just paste a section from this article. And then you can just open site this for me. The only thing you need to bear is that there are lots of ads around here. And but the best thing is you can just use site this for me without registration or login. Now let me zoom in. You can just click citation style to choose APA. And then we click add new reference. For me, I'm going to use journal. And then you can just paste the DOI or type in the title of this article. And I just right click this DOI of this article and paste here and click on search. Okay, you can just check if the details of this article are correct, like the uh, name of the authors, the year published, the title of this article, the volume, the issue, the pages, and for this, I just delete uh, the DOI and name of the database and click Add Reference. OK. OK, you see, I've already added three citations into my bibliography. They're all this in alphabetical order. I can just click on copy in the citation. Okay, copy it. And then you can just uh, paste it wherever you want to insert, like here. Paste it. And then you can just change the um, fonts, like I choose Times New Roman and the size. Okay, if you want to um, copy all the bibliography citations at a time, you can just select all you need and scroll up to choose copy and paste and then you just need to copy that and paste okay okay that's in my video i hope you enjoyed it please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and tomorrow is Chinese new year's eve i wish you all the best and a happy new year and I'll see you next time bye